So this is sort of a summary of, of most of what we've talked about. We've talked about fusion at the plasma membrane where the nucleocapsid remains close by um, or the capsid is transported down to the nucleus. We've talked about endocytic pathways in, in very broad ways. There are different kinds of endocytic pathways. This is not so important. Uh, but to just simply to know that as these vesicles move in, they become acidified, and that helps viruses to get out uh, of the pathway. So here you see there are clathrin-dependent uh, endocytic pathways. There's clathrin and caviolin-independent, and there are also uh, caviolin-dependent pathways. But all of them get the particles uh, into the cell. The last thing I want to mention very briefly is this step uh, where viruses have to get their genomes in the nucleus. Remember, pretty much all the DNA viruses, with two exceptions, pox viruses and Mimi viruses, have to get their DNA into the nucleus. Uh, the pox and the Mimi, the biggest viruses, they set up their own thing in the cytoplasm. They don't bother with the nucleus. So this is an obligatory step for most DNA viruses. And here's how it happens. We've talked about two ways that this happens today. Let me give you uh, two more. Influenza virus. It's unusual because it's an RNA virus, yet it has to get its genome in the nucleus to replicate. Why that's so, we'll talk about next time. Uh, it does so by being transported through the nuclear pore. Remember, the virus uncoats in the endosome, and then its, its RNPs, its ribonuclear proteins, or its helical capsids, are really small, and they can fit right through the nuclear pore, which, as you know, can transport material of a certain size into the nucleus. Most viruses are too big to cross the pore. The exception are the parvoviruses, shown in the last panel, which are small enough to fit right through the pore, and they can be transported in, and then they uncoat their DNA in the nucleus. But other viruses are too big, uh, and so they have to take other strategies. Here uh, is what herpes virus does. Uh, remember, we talked about the portal at one of the five-fold axes of herpes virus last time. It's a hole through which the DNA comes. Uh, this virion is docked onto a nuclear pore, and the DNA is being threaded into the nucleus. And what the signal for that is, we don't know. It would be a very interesting thing to find out. Adenovirus we talked about. Remember, adenovirus begins to be partially disassembled in the, cap in the uh, endosome. It breaks through the endosome, partially disassembled. That's shown here. Moves to the nuclear pore, and then it docks on it, and again, the genome is pulled in. There's some evidence uh, adenovirus DNA is coated with various proteins, and there's some evidence that these uh, serve as tethers for nuclear proteins to pull the DNA into the nucleus. So uh, four different ways of getting nucleic acid into the nucleus.